I do wish websites told you which type of dollar was being shown. Many years ago, I bought a track saw but not the clamps because I couldn't bring myself to spend 145 Australian dollars on a set of clamps. Their use is not mandatory, but they do help in many situations. So I built a set for myself for a fraction of the cost, but they were hard to make and had some drawbacks. In this video, I'll show you how much a 3D printer can save on a single project and make the designs available for you on Etsy for $31. Only kidding, you can have them for free. I want to be able to use less material, so... Let's see if we can remove that part. Uh, the next thing we want to remove some non-standard parts, so let's see if we can remove these uh, pieces of metal that slid into the track as well. So the starting point, we're going to have these Irvine clamps, standard, no changes to the trigger mechanism. We've still got the hole drilled in the end for a M5 bolt and let's see what kind of improvements we can make. So one thing I thought of trying was, can we take a countersink machine screw and use that as the clamping mechanism? Yep, so that fits in fairly nice and snug, so I think we can make something out of this. So let's make a few test prints. So we need something that's going to be snug on the shaft. And just making some test prints means it will waste less material. So there we've got a nice snug fit. So the design of that one, yeah, that's looks like it's going to do it. So let's make a larger test block. And yep, that's nice and snug. No rotation on there. But I forgot to put a hole through the piece of plastic to keep it on. So if we look at the design of this block as well, uh, we can see that it's just enough for putting a hex screw on there. And the thickness when you put it on here means that that hole is going to be awfully close to that end. So let's see if we can deal with that. So we'll print out a larger block with space for a hex nut. And then we see that hex nut's not fitting. So I've got my measurements a little bit wrong for that one. Or it's when it's printing in that orientation, it's getting a little bit squished. So the overhang on the part here, perhaps stopping that going in. So one of the two. So again, to save some material, we'll print out some hex shapes and then we'll see what size fits. So now we have a hex opening that's large enough for the nut and not too snug. That's good. And on the other side, we have the countersink. So let's assemble that now. These screws are machine screws, um, five by 20 millimeters long. I've put a bit of lube on those screws so that they go in a little bit easier hopefully without melting the plastic. That's probably about right. And we'll just try and make those about the same depth. Let's try and assemble this now. And we'll stick on some washers. And we'll just give that a little bit of a tighten. And they can slide in and out fairly well. So let's try these clamps out now. So that slides in nicely. And let's just clamp that up and we'll see how much deflection we get. So that's quite good. We don't want to apply too much force so that it'll get pulled through the, the metal slats. And we can see that's rock solid. So that's a nice result.
The most expensive part of this project was the donor clamps. They were about 15 Australian dollars, bringing the total for this project to just over 16 dollars. With the Bosch clamps costing 145 Australian dollars locally and the DIY version 17 dollars, that's a saving of 128 Australian dollars. I'll put links to the 3D designs in the description. Cheerio!